I want to say thank you to the fans. Uh, honestly, even out there pregame, even during the game, it was a lot of Titans fans in the building. They really traveled to Houston, so I definitely want to say I appreciate those guys. And, you know, obviously we didn't finish the way we wanted to finish, but, um, you know, we're number one seed. These things don't happen that often. So, I mean, it's good that we went out there and took advantage and finished the game the way we needed to. So, uh, y'all can fire away now. You said you wanted that, that you needed it. All right. I mean, it's very significant because, like I said, these things don't happen too often. I mean, we got guys in the locker room that's never been a one seed, been in the league 10-plus years. So uh, we definitely got to relish in this moment, understand that this is big time. Uh, obviously had some guys get nicked up today, so there's going to be big time for those guys to get a couple days of extra rest. Um, but like I said, man, it's going to be great that we have home field advantage throughout the playoffs because the way our Titans fans travel today, I would definitely expect them to be packing out Nissan Stadium for these uh, next playoff game division around. Yeah, I just think that, you know, as far as the defense, the communication wasn't always where it needed to be. Um, you know, they made some plays. Credit to those guys. I mean, I think these last couple of weeks, these guys have really improved. Uh, they made some really good catches. Guys made plays, and, you know, we didn't. Uh, you know, I think we kind of slept walk through that third quarter, which is obviously something that we don't want to do, especially heading into the playoffs. But I think it'd be good for us watching the film. We'll definitely get those things corrected. We'll really be critical on each other and make sure that, you know, these things don't happen when we get into the playoffs. I mean, he, he's, he's been playing well all season, in my opinion. You know, I know a lot of people want to say that, you know, we don't have a top five quarterback and all those different things. But, you know, when I cut the film on and we, you see the game that he played today, I mean, he played like a top five quarterback, in my opinion. So uh, we're going to need him big time during these playoffs. Uh, and, you know, just in this time of the year, we need our best players to be playing our best. So Tannehill is definitely one of our best players. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say it's subdued, but I don't think that any of the leaders on this team, especially on defense, were satisfied and were happy the way we finished the game. But at the end of the day, you know, we're going to watch the film, forget about it, and celebrate the fact that we are one seed and we have, you know, we're in the Elite Eight or whatever you want to call it to, uh, to be in the divisional round. So, uh, but at the end of the day, like I said, man, we definitely want to be able to finish stronger, but it is what it is. Yeah, I mean, it was a heck of a play by him. You know, I've seen it, you know, seen times where the referees call it dead and things like that. But, you know, that's our quarterback, man. This guy's been, you know, the toughest, one of the toughest players I've ever been around. He stands in the middle of the pocket, gets hit, fired darts to Julio and AJ. And on that play, he just showed, you know, another level of his grit, being able to continue to fight throughout the, throughout, which was would be sacked because I was sitting on the sideline. I heard the crowd erupt, thought it was a sack, and he ended up getting out there and fell on Nick Westbrook for a big play for it. So, in my opinion, that probably was the play of the game. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's a thing where injuries help a team, but I think that, you know, I've talked about us being resilient this entire year and, you know, next guy man, man, next guy up mentality, and I think it'll be the same thing this week. We'll see, you know, who we have available for the playoffs. But um, a lot of, a couple of guys that actually got nicked up actually came back into the game, so that was a good sign. So, you know, we'll see when we get back to Nashville. Did you have some injuries for the third quarter? I did, I did. But, I mean, luckily we ended up scoring on that drive still because, uh, obviously, you know, the play, we was – Kind of joking in practice, like, you know, we knew it was going to be what type of play it was going to be, and it's kind of joking with him, like, you better lay somebody out. But the guy ended up trying to cut him. But, um, yeah, I definitely gave him grief, but, you know, we scored, so I didn't really get on him that much. I don't know if you saw the, the fan with the sign for uh, Mike Rabel, Coach of the Year. But, uh, I did see that. Make your case for why you feel he should be the Coach of the Year. Yeah, I mean, we talked about, man, the adversity we faced this year with injuries, the amount of guys we've had play for this team. Um, you know, obviously – you know, we don't have, like, all the crazy gaudy numbers and things like that, but the ability and, and just the job that he's done, making sure that we're prepared every single week um, and to lock up the number one seed with all these different circumstances, you know, not having some of our best players for every single game, I think that speaks to the resume that, you know, I think he has out there for Coach of the Year. So he's definitely got my vote. Coach said you could have coached you guys hard this week. How important will that be, especially not knowing who you're actually going to play? Yeah, because, I mean, the thing about it is, you know, in times like this, especially having a bye week, it's all about us, and it's always been about us. But like I said, man, we're going to watch this film. We're going to really critical ourselves this week and make sure that these things that we, you know, kind of slept, walk through the third quarter and the fourth as well um, don't happen again next week. So uh, it's going to be big for us this week getting healthy, but at the same time making sure that we're addressing the things we need to get fixed because at the end of the day, you know, it's, it's sudden death now. You know, every game is, you know, it's, it's win or go home. So uh, that type of mentality is going to be echoed throughout the entire building this week.